Welcome to, to this video. We're going to discuss now the quick check multiple choice of chapter 26, which is saving, investment, and the financial system. Remember, this is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics. So the first question says, Nina wants to buy and operate an ice cream truck, but doesn't have the financial resources to start a business. She borrows $5,000 from her friend Max, to whom she promises an interest rate of 7%, and gets another $10,000 from his, her friend David, to whom she promises a third of her profits. What best describes the situation? So here we have a combination between Max, Nina and David. Be, uh, between stockholder bondholder so the first thing we want to clarify that we've worked during the chapter is the definition of a stockholder when you have stockholder as the 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 word itself says stock you have uh you you, you have a stock so you are the owner of an stock and remember a stock is part of participation of the ownership of a company so automatically it uh, converts you as an owner in specific part of this business so then you participate in the positive in the profit of the company so then we we are talking about david is more about stockholder when we talk about bondholder as the name itself says so you are the owner of a bond so the bond just just uh, return you interest no more you are not participant of the ownership of the company so you just receive interest so then we are talking about that situation about the part of of max so then uh, max is a bond holder and david is a stockholder so it should be the d answer Second, if the government collects more in tax revenue than in it spends and households consume more than they get in after tax income, then private and public saving are both positive. So it's a combination between uh, that situation between the private and public saving. So let's have a look. So the the finance of the government is basically situated in as as most of the old other actors in the economy as flows of income and expenditure for the government the income is the tax so all the taxes the government receive receives is part of income this is tax this is income and then the expenditure is the government expenditure so it should be t minus g so in this situation we are talking about the government collects more in tax revenue than it spends so then t is is higher than g then the government public naturally should be positive then for the case of households then the income is the y this is the same as the GDP minus C, which is consumption, right? In in this situation, well, we are not taking uh, about uh, tax. Tax here, we are just talking about after tax, so it should be just Y over minus C. So then it should be C is higher than Y, because we are talking about consume more than they get in after income tax income so then should be c higher than y so then naturally household situation the private saving should be negative so then private saving is negative but public saving is positive they should be the answer third a closed economy has income of 1000 government spending of 2000 200 sorry taxes of taxes of 150 and investment of 250 what is private saving so then those are the four answers so let's start so we have the the gdp 
is exactly equal or the income is exactly equal as 1000 then we have the government expenditure 200 taxes 150 and investment we have 250 then first let's start with the element of the private saving as you know because you already uh, saw in the in the chapter the the saving private is exactly equal as the income minus the taxes minus consumption and the public saving should be taxes which is the income minus government expenditure then the the saving for the private sector should be 1000 which is why and taxes should be 150 minus C. We don't have that information. With public, we have the taxes. They are 150, and then you have the 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 government expenditure that is 200. So then, as a consequence, we have a deficit of 50, or should be minus 50, the public saving. Then, as you know the whole saving in economy is exactly equal as the private saving plus public saving so then this the aggregation of these two parts should have s which is saving and should be exactly equal as investment right so then you have this one this uh, identity you have you can replace because you already have the investment so it's 250 and you already know that this um, this one should be should be as public which exactly got minus 50 and then you have 1000 minus 150 then definitely we have 850 minus 50 then you have 800 minus C is equal to 250 then you just uh, collect the terms you put these 250 to the other side subtracting is exactly equal to the consumption and then consumption is exactly equal as 550 then you already have this piece of the puzzle that it misses so you just uh, plug in s private and then um, then you have S private is exactly equal to 850 minus 550. Then you have that the S private is exactly equal to 300. So the answer should be C, 300. Four, if a popular TV show on personal uh, finance conv convinces, convinces more Americans about the importance of saving for retirement, the curve of for loanable funds would shift driving the equilibrium interest rate then we have the option of first supply or demand and then up or down so just graph, graph the situation of the market of loanable funds so the market of loanable funds first we have as price of the money should be the interest rate so it should be i and then uh, and then you have here the x axis should be the loanable funds and then you have the the supply remember supply should be the people that they put the money into financial market to receive interest in change so it should be all people that they save money and then the demand should be all people that they demand money for loanable funds for investment so then this should be the d curve so first we have this first situation and before uh, thinking about moving so first which curve affects we are talking about uh, retirement saving for retirement so definitely should be supply so because um, this TV show combines all people then more people would save so because of more people would save so then the supply curve should should increase so should shift to the right then as a consequence we have um, a decrease in interest a naturally higher investment incentivated in some way for this decrease of the interest rate so then we are talking about supply and then up right uh then the equilibrium rate oh here is not a sorry it should be b because the supply 
uh, should should uh, shift, but then the interest rate should be should down. So it should be B. Five. If the business community becomes more optimistic about the profitability of the of capital, the curve for vulnerable funds sh would shift, driving the equilibrium interest rate. So then, here again we have the situation, and then which curve would have, would affect? So then about profitability of capital so we are talking about investment so g2 we're talking about investment so the demand will shift to the right right so then this situation would shift um the the interest rate it would increase so then demand and then the interest rate should increase the last one should be um, from 2008 and 2012, the ratio of government debt to GDP in the United States increased, decreased or was stable or was stable at a historical low level. So then this is the graph that we presented in the last part of the chapter, so which is the ratio of the, of the government debt. So this ratio is taken from the total government debt over the total GDP so as a percentage so naturally with in increases it says that we are uh, assuming more debt more government debt what's happening between 2008 and 2012 it was uh, it was steep it was an increase of government debt so then we are talking about increased markedly so I hope it has worth any comment is more than welcome. Please subscribe if you like it. And see you next video. Bye bye.